Hi, this is Walter Rodriguez. I'm here with a quick tutorial on my arrangement of the White Christmas. If you click here on this link, that will take you to my original performance here on YouTube. And if you ever record yourself performing it, please let me know. I would love to see you play it. Okay, I start with a C major 7. Then I go half step higher, but I keep the uh, the bass on the note C. Then I go back again to C major 7. Then a C diminished 7. Then back again to C major 7. So let me play uh, this part. So one more time. minor 7, then D sharp minor 7, then I go up a half step to E minor 7. So from D minor 7 to D sharp minor 7, so let's take it from the top again. I go to F major 7 with the 9. So I just bar the 5th fret and play the bass, the F note uh, on the 8th fret. Then the melody. Then I go all the way up to the 13th fret with the bass on F. So this is actually a G triad with the F in the bass. And the melody goes here on fret uh, 15 on the B string. Then I play the E minor 7. So let's take it from there again. Um, from D minor, D sharp minor 7, E minor 7. chord and play the melody. E minor 7. Now I play a G7 uh, sus4 uh, with the 9. So in other words this is a, a G, G chord with the A in the bass. Then what I do here I raise my uh, my first finger and I lower my second finger so in this chord uh, it's actually a D sharp triad with the A in the bass so G7 sus4 then you move up your finger one and you lower your finger two then I go to a D minor uh, D minor 7 with the 9 and the 11. I bar the 3rd fret. So I have uh, the note D in the bass, then the minor 3rd, the 7th, the 9, and the 11. Then you just move half step down your fingers 1 and 2. And that's going to be a, a C sharp or D flat. Uh, 7 with the sharp 9 and the sharp 11. So from the D minor, uh, 7, 9, 11, lower your fingers 2 and 3, half step. So let's take it from the beginning.
then the melody. So instead of going to the one chord, what I do here, I go to a, a D, I mean to a E triad over a G sharp. It's the first inversion. So I play a G sharp, then an E, then a uh, <clears throat> B flat, then a D. Then I go to A minor. Then I lower the A minor half step while keeping the E at the top. So. One more time I have step and I keep the E at the top. So it's a A minor 7, A flat minor 7, sharp 5, then G minor 7 with the 13. So this is a C7 sus uh, 2 chord. So I just bar the 3rd fret with the melody on the 1st string, 5th fret on the A. Then I go to F major 7, then F minor uh, 6, so F major 7, F minor 6. Then the melody note here is going to be a G. So the F uh, minor 6, I have F, then I have an open D, then I have a G sharp, then I have a C, then I play the G for the melody. Now I go to E uh, 13, so I play an open E for the bass, then an open D, then a G sharp, then a C sharp, then an open E at the top. Then you lower, half step your finger 3. Then you go to an A7 sharp 5 or flat 13. You bar the 5th fret. Then your fingers 2 and 3 go on strings 3 and 2 on fret 6. Then the melody note here is uh, E. Then D minor 7. I bar the 3rd fret and put my finger 3 on, on, the, on the G string, 5th fret, that's a D minor 7 chord. Then a G uh, 7 sharp 5, I bar the 3rd fret and my fingers 2 and 3 go on strings 2 and 3 on fret 4. So let's take uh, from the top. comes the second uh, the second verse second part of the song instead of starting on this G on, on this C major 7 I start here with this voicing on the 8th fret for the bass then I play the major 7 which is the B note on the 9th fret uh, string 4 or string D then my second finger is gonna play a D on the 7th fret uh, 3rd string and my first finger is going to play a E 
uh, it's on the fifth fret, uh, second string. Then from here, I move the bass down by half steps. Now this chord right here, it's a B flat seven sharp eleven. I play a B flat, then I skip a string, play the seventh with my fourth finger. Then I play uh, on the fifth fret strings three and two with my fingers one and two. So from the C major seven again. Then from here we go to a A flat sharp five or flat 13. Uh, we already played this chord before. Then the melody. Then a D minor 7. Then the, the D sharp minor 7 going to E minor 7 again. Then F major 7, 9. Same thing as, uh, as in the first part of the song. G over F again, E minor 7. Now here I'm going to lower by half step my fingers 1 and I mean my fingers 2 and 3 while I keep my finger 1 and 4 in its position. Now from E minor 7 I lower my fingers 2 and 3 by half step. So that's going to be a D sharp 7. Now an A flat major uh, 7 with the 6 and the 9. So uh, I play this chord by uh, placing a bar on the 3rd fret. Then the G flat, I mean the, the A flat or G sharp goes on the 4th uh, fret for the bass note and my third finger goes on the second string fret 4 and then from here I play a D flat uh, major 7 with the 9 and sharp 11 I keep the bar on the third fret now the bass is going to be on the fifth string on the on C sharp or D flat then I have the root the th major third the major seventh, the nine, and the bar is gonna get is gonna take care of the sharp eleven. Let's do the second part again. The melody goes uh, C D E. So I play C on the third string, D on the second, then I open E. And while that E open E is ringing, I play a C major seven chord with a sharp five, an augmented chord. So it's a C. Then you have the third, then you have the sharp five, then you have the uh, the major seven. So uh, then you resolve the sharp five, you raise it half step, and that's going to be a six, a C major seven with the six chord. So. We go to a G minor 7 chord with the uh, add 13. Then from here we play a, a C 13 uh, flat 9. It's actually a, a C 7 chord with the 13 and the flat 9. So I play uh, strings uh, 6 and 4 
on the uh, eighth fret, fingers three and four. Then you skip fret uh, seven, and your finger two goes on the third string, fret six. And your first finger is gonna actually bar the, the first two strings, E and B. Then the melody goes to G. Now this is a F6 chord with the 9. So I play the root, the third, and then with the same finger I get the 6 just underneath. Then my fingers 3 and 4 play uh, strings 1 and 2 on the 8th fret. So let's take it from the second, second half again. then the 7th, A flat, and the 9, uh, which is C. Now this chord here, it's a B flat 13 with the sharp 11. I bar the 6th fret, then my 4th finger goes on uh, fret 9, 3rd string, and my finger 2 goes on the note G, which is the 8th fret, 2nd string. So it goes from B flat 9 to B flat 13 sharp 11. Then, then the melody goes to F to, uh, to E. And now I play a B minor 7 chord with the 11th, which is the E note. Then I lower my fingers 2 and 3. So that's a B flat 7 sharp 11. Then I play the whole chord a half step lower. So this is going to be. Uh, then the melody goes back to E. Let me do that again. go to a D minor uh, 9, play the root, the minor 3rd, the 7th, the 9th, and the melody note is the uh, A note on the 1st string. And the way I achieve that is by playing uh, two, 2 strings with my pinky, with my 4th finger. Then a G7 flat 9. It's gonna be a G, then F, uh, a, a G sharp, and an open B. Three. Then we go to B minor 7, just a three note chord, the root, the 7, and the minor 3rd. Then we uh, lower fingers 2 and 3, half step, so we have B minor 7, B flat 7, then we go to A minor, all three note chords. Then the melodies here, it's on the D, C, fingers 2 and 3 again, so it goes, one more time, then D minor 9 again, G7 flat 9 again, 
then once again now we play a, a G713 with the B as the highest note so it's a little uh, stretch here so bar the third fret uh, play the seventh, so root seven on the D string, the third, the thirteen, and the melody goes on the B. Then the me the melody note goes to C. So let me play that whole uh, turn around again. Again. one more time now G13 then the melody C uh, after the C I go okay this is a, a uh, C13 you bar the eighth fret so it's root seven third 13 and the root again. Now you move your hand down by half step. The same chord, but we're gonna add the flat nine, so we need to switch fingers here. So it's the same chord, but now I'm playing the 13 with my finger four and the flat nine with my finger three. Now another uh, seven. 13 chord that's a B flat 713 with the 9 so we are keeping the note C for all those chords now this chord is a A7 instead of the natural 13 is going to be a flat 13 still with the C as the highest note so to a D minor 7 chord from the D minor 7 chord we play a C sharp major uh, 7 with a 6 and 9 so I bar my 8th fret the bass note is a C sharp then my finger 3 goes on the 2nd uh, string 9th fret and my bar plays the highest C. Then from here, we end with a C major 7, uh, 13, with the 9 on top. So you play the bass note, which is C, then you skip the A string, go to the 9th fret now, and play with your finger 2 and 3, strings 4 and 3. Then your fourth finger plays the 13 on the second string, 10th fret, and it also plays the D note on the first string, same fret. So these are all five note chords. So from the, the ending again. with the rhythm one two three four one all right that's it for now I hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks again I'll see you next time and God bless